students, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna teach you on how to use this what we call the Zs course. So ano nga ba ang Zs course? Paano siya gamitin at kung saan ba siya ginagamit? So without a further ado, let's get started. So one of the kind of the measures of relative position is what we call the Zs course. So para mas lalo natin maintindihan ang Zs course nito, so let's have first a given problem. So consider an internet site that offers many downloads based on the data kept by the site. An estimate of the mean time to download a certain movie is 12 minutes, okay? And meron tayong standard deviation that is 4 minutes. So for example, ikaw mismo ay meron kang movie na dinownload. So you downloaded that movie in 20 minutes. At meron kang isang friend na nagdownload din siya ng katulad na movie na dinownload mo. And that this takes only the 6 minutes. So yung mean time nila ay hindi natin masyado na-expect. So that results to unexpected. Now sir, paano ba ginagamit dito ang Z-scores? So we have the movie download times in minutes. So we have the mean which is equivalent to 12 and then standard division that is given and that is 4. Now we will have a number line para mas lalo natin maintindihan yung z-score na ito. So we have the mean so yung siya yung nasa gitna that is the 12 and then we have the 6 minutes na kung saan yung kibigan ay nag-download siya ng yung movie that is takes only the 6 minutes and then yung ikaw mismo yung nag-download that is take uh, 20 minutes. So we have the 6 minutes below the mean and then we have the 8 minutes below the mean. Now, ang pagkita ng 6 and 12 ay we have the 1.5 standard deviation from the mean and then we have another 12 and 20 that is the 2 standard deviation from the mean. So itong 1.5 tsaka 2 ay ito na mismo yung tinatawag na Z-score. Bakit? Kasi the number of standard deviation between a data value and the mean is known as the data values or what we call the Z-score or standard score. So, sir, tanong, paano nakuha yung 1.5 standard deviation from the mean and at the same time yung 2 standard deviation from the mean? So, we have here the formula of the Z-score. So, we have the Z equals to X minus mean all over Z standard deviation. So, now, balikan natin yung given kanina. So, we have the mean which is the 12 and standard deviation which is the 4. Now, copy the formula, we have the Z equals to X minus mean all over the standard deviation. Then substitute the given value to the given formula. So, we have the X, yung unang X, that is the 6 minus 12 all over the 4. So, 6 minus 12 all over the 4, that is equivalent to negative 1.5. So, ibig sabihin, pag sinabi negative, that is below from the mean. Now, on the other hand, yung download mo na 20 minutes is to subtract mo sa 12 all over sa 4. So, that is 8 over 4. Very good. So, that is equivalent to 2. So, na, gets na ba? So, question sir, what does a z-score of 2 for a data value x represent? And then, we have the another questions. That is, what does a z-score of negative 1.5 for a data value x represent. So, ano nga ba? Since ang 2 ay positive, it means to say na yung 2 that is above the mean. Okay? Take note, positive that is above the mean. So, kapag negative naman, so we have the negative 1.5 that is below the mean. So, which is better? That is the 2. Kasi siya ay positive. So, ganun lang ang z-score kapag meron na siyang given na mean sa standard deviation is a substitute mo lang doon sa given formula. And then, malalaman mo na siya kung above the mean ba siya or below the mean. So, in my next video, I'm gonna demonstrate to you on how to calculate the z-score. So, stay tuned. So, that's all for it for now. Thank you for watching. Keep safe.